Here we go! I'm not looking forward to this. What is up, Sushi Squad? <sighs> We're back for some more Resident Evil. God, I love and hate this game. The, the thing is, too, I realized this. I, I didn't mention it in any of the episodes, but you know how I keep saying how this series is so short? So, uh, my real-life cousin was, like, huge into my Resident Evil series. Um, he's been watching this one uh, along with all you guys and I want to say thank you so so much for the supportive comments It means a lot especially on a series that of course isn't as popular on the channel But I'm still enjoying it and taking it just as seriously as any other game that I play on the channel, but um The thing is him and I were talking uh, about the other day We talk about Resident Evil a lot and you know kind of the limitations of re3 whatever uh, one of the things that we both kind of realized was everyone's always talking about this being the shorter Resident Evil than Resident Evil 2. That's most people that probably played through both characters in Resident Evil 2. So Resident Evil 2, if you don't know, had both Leon and Claire. I only played through it with Leon. It was around 10 hours. And then if you played through it with Claire, the story was slightly different, but it was generally just playing through the game again, taking alternative pathways. And it was probably another 10 hours. This shorter campaign is probably the same length as one of those character stories. So we're probably going to sit on like 10 hours or something like that. Unless today is the last episode, in which case I don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't know, that was a long-winded explanation. Okay, maybe this will be the last episode, because that looks like a battle arena for Nemesis. Which wouldn't make sense, because this isn't, this isn't normally where you fight him in the original game. Uh, I'm thinking, like, those... Oh, this is going to be the final fight with him, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, in the original game... I only know this from speedruns. You remember that area where there was the bugs? Yeah, we had them in like the first episode. I hated that place. It gave me nightmares. Nothing over here. Then why do you even have this as an option? Well, anyways, that normally in the original game, as far as I know, is the same area where you end up fighting Nemesis for the final time. Because he basically is immune to like everything except for freeze guns. Uh, in the original game, you get an ice shotgun. <laughs> And electricity. And this looks like an electrical field. Oh my god. She would not survive that fall! God, this girl. How does he keep teleporting? The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting true. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dart. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. So Nemi's just sitting at the bottom being very courteous and not attacking both of us while he's doing all that. Either this is where we're finishing off Nemesis or we're going to fight him. He's going to evolve and then we'll finish him off in another area. Similar to the original, like I was saying. Okay. Whoa. He's got much stronger attacks now. Woohoo. I don't know what the fuck kind of an attack was that. Why did he wait so goddamn long? Go to the inventory, you stupid video game. Huh. What the hell is that? I'm grabbing it, I don't care. Ha ha! So long, sucker! I'm grabbing all of this ammo! He one-shot me. No, he didn't one-shot me, I'm not dead yet. Ha ha! <laughs> okay, uh... Let's equip this, I guess. This is kind of dumb, isn't it? Ah! The rolling! I fucking hate this rolling in this game! Woohoo! Okay. Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're 
Okay. Well, the acid rounds fucking melted him. Good idea. I don't have any healing items. This is awesome. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Just die. Die. Reload, please. What is he doing? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do now. Watch it, you've got company. What do you mean I got company? What do you mean I've got company? Why am I dealing with like a normal zombie in this area? I need healing items bad. <laughs> Why am I dealing with normal zombies? Okay. Well, let's hope that that did something. Where? Oh. Oh, he's like... His weakness showed up. Okay, I understand what I'm supposed to do. Give me a healing item! Please! Please give me a healing item? Like, where's my healing items? Ha <laughs> ha! Foolish demon! Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna cheat, guys. I'm gonna go into this menu to equip my guns. Because this way I don't need to worry about uh, fighting. Right? He's behind number five. All right, cool. Oh, I see. He's hiding behind take five. There. I have to hit both of the red things at the same time. That's kind of dumb. That's kind of really dummy dumb. Oh, he's doing that weird move! Ah! I don't know how I did that, but it worked out. Okay, uh, out of ammo with that. Let's pull out the mag. Whatever. Okay, uh, good thing he's being courteous. I'm also going to pull this out and hope to God that this is easier than I think it is. Okay, infinite zombies, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's just that easy. Okay. Let's do this. That's awesome! This is what they had to come up with? Not what I intended to hit. Well, I'll take it. He's hiding the healing items behind him. Okay. Man, the baby wants his bottle, huh? Wow, what great gameplay. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus. I mean, I probably wasted a lot of my ammo at the beginning. Uh, I also wasted all my healing items. I guess I should just grab all my healing items, huh? I don't know. Well, let's get our acid rounds ready and try again. Can I skip? Thank you. Hey, stupid. <laughs> He's roaring! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no! Huah! I rolled! Fuck you! Uh, stop kissing me! Uh, gross, dude! Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay! Where's those fucking healing items I saw? Jill, is that you? Carlos? Uh, Carlos? Uh, what are you doing up there? Ah! Do I gotta damage him enough? Thank you! Well, at least he's a freaking idiot. Okay. Watch it, you've got company. Yeah, I know, but I need healing items, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, God. Okay. Let's just ignore him. Let's put the mag on, just in case. Five shots! Oh god, he's doing that thing! Ah, come on, you asshole!
Maybe he wants his bottle. He's having a tantrum. Tantrum. Go on, dude. Run to the edge. Did he kill the other zombies, by the way? Great! That's handgun ammo. Shotgun shells. Okay. I think there's a zombie like right beside me, so I gotta be awful careful. What do you got? What are you doing? Not what I intended to hit. I'll take it. Woo! I thought it was already like ready to be damaged more, but that's cool. He's killing the other zombies, that's hilarious. Really? Oh no. Huh! Oh, I see. Dodge to the left. That's easy. He's doing it! You stupid werewolf! God, what a stupid boss. There's my healing spray. Holy crap. Alright, I'll take that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't- ah! Jesus, dude! Oh god, my own ass had hurt me more than you did! Get up, you stupid fuck! God damn, here, I'll spray myself. Ugh. What a wimpy dodge! Jesus Christ, dude! Ah. Alright, what gun should I use? The acid? Ah. Oh, that weird gooey sound means his weakness is available. I see. Well, explosive shells certainly kicks his ass, doesn't it? Oh no, more zombies just coming out of the sewer, like... Jesus. <laughs> Take that, you bastard! Hulk smash! Get away from me, you bastard zombies! Oh, we won. Unless he's phasing. Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One. Oh God. That never did anything before. Oh my God, he broke his jaw. <laughs> his teeth are missing. Now get on. All right. I mean, I guess that was pretty epic. Yeah, he's gonna evolve. The original game of electricity beats him too. That's the whole point I was trying to make. So that might have been the end, but probably not. What is that, acid? No, he's not dead. Mmm. I still don't trust it. He's probably still alive. Nikolai, where did you go? Oh, for fuck's sakes! Yeah, the I just got an achievement. Nemesis down? Explanation mark? Question mark? No, he's not dead. I have to get that vaccine back. Oh no, really? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just <laughs> I'm being so salty right now. God damn. I just did. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Um. 60 millimeter calendar, muzzle velocity, six. What? Suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak? Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind? Okay, whatever this weapon is, is what we're going to need to probably defeat Nemesis. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line. Just give him the finger. Okay. And problem solved. Finger. Take the E out. Maybe that's what the code name of the weapon's called. Packs the firepower we need. It, if it kills tyrants, then holy shit, it's gonna kill Nemesis. Um. Better if there's was a way to control the output. Mobility may provide to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. We'll use a turret. It provides multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Okay. So I'm assuming they're still going to leave us with one final weapon. And maybe that's where we'll end up finishing him off. Because we got to like put it. As far as I know, it's just the same stupid mechanic they've been using the whole game. Where you have to like 
take a bunch of fuses, put them in electrical outlets, and then we use that to defeat Uggles' nemesis once and for all. Wait a minute! All right, let's uh, be very careful here. See what we need. Okay, let's grab some of these. Grab the handgun ammo. More flame rounds, why not? More healing spray. I mean, it seems like we're at the end now, so it's probably just all about like using everything that we've got, right? I don't think, okay, we don't have any shotgun ammo, unfortunately, so we'll leave that just in case we end up running into anything else on the field. You never know, they might give us some more ammo. Oh my God, is that another boss arena? Like, I can't deal with another Nemi fight right now. You know it's coming. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You, Prince Mum. I like that. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Why? Why? Saw that coming. Nemesis is gonna kill him suddenly out of nowhere. Oh god, it is a boss arena. I hate being right. Have you, have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But, well, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. No, you don't. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Okay. It's the wall of flesh from Terraria. Um. Alright, uh, that must be the super weapon, right? He's doing some weird... Ah! Uh, I leaped. I did my dodge, but that's cool. I don't know what just happened there. He almost one-shot me, by the way. Hilarious. Oh, what the fuck? How can she pick that up? BFG, bitch! Doom Eternal! <laughs> what the hell? What just happened to this game? Yeah, that's what it just said. What the hell? Oh no, I gotta go and activate this thing. Ah! Come on. Oh, I need to heal up because I'm already in caution. Oh God. I rolled, you stupid fucking game. I'm assuming those are his weak points, right? Oh no, he's roaring! My ears! This is awesome. And now I just don't have enough healing items, so this is the end. Can you reload the freaking gun, you stupid idiot? There we go! I don't understand, but get out of the way, please. Okay, watch this. Huh? Oh, I see. He's just defending himself. You know what this boss reminds me of? This is like something you'd see in Parasite Eve. Like, oh God. Uh, I'm guessing the point is he's down on the ground right now, so I can use this opportunity to push these into place. This is awesome gameplay. Well, I gotta get right up close and personal with them, huh? Wow, this is fun. One power source. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. All right. Uh, so he's gonna regenerate. 
Yep, he does. He's doing his Wampa stomp! Jill, please. This is where I should be using the mag or something. God, the way that he moves is so fucking weird. Ah. He's doing his rumpus stuff. He's angry. Me shake ground. Meh. Oh God. I see, so I gotta just literally be on the left or right side of him doing all this shit. I love being out of ammo, by the way. Like, what the hell? Oh, that somehow worked out. Huh. Pistol. <laughs> Look how much easier it is not using the explosives. That's pathetic. Oh, God. Uh, hmm. Well, here we go. I'm guessing I gotta just do this like three or four times. I mean, it's epic as hell, I'll take it, but what the heck is going on? What game is this? Ha ha! BFG, biatch! I gotta do it three times! Uh. You know, with how powerful this weapon is, you'd think it would, like, one-shot him, but... Oh! Uh, are we done already? Come on! Next time, take the fucking hit! Yeah. Alright. That's an ending. See, look! That shot went through the whole fucking, like, room and walls and everything. Good riddance. Maybe the first shot wasn't fully charged. What the hell, man? <laughs> what game am I playing anymore? Like, what the hell, dude? Oh my god. I mean, it's epic as hell, but what the hell? <laughs> do we need any more? No. Anything else around? I, I hate to do it. This isn't even like Resident Evil now. Like, what is this? Oh, she covers her mouth. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, maybe I don't go that way. Maybe I go this way. Good thing there's a perfect pathway through all of his tasty bits. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that wasn't the original. That's so weird. Whatever, I'll take it. It was epic. You know? Hey, is this the same? Either they reskin this, or is this the same facility that Leon uses when uh, Miss Wong or whatever the heck that other agent? I can still catch him. The FBI agent. Remember, she falls and she's not really dead from RE2. Anyways, let's just go in a straight line. Never mind going and looking around. Oh. You're not going to stop. I mean, I just killed like a giant creature. I don't. No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Oh no, but Carlos is still alive. Yep. What? What was that, buddy? He slapped his neck. Dude, you got your ass kicked before I even came here. I don't think you're gonna. Jesus. Jill! Shoot him! Why are you hesitating? I can't. I'll hit you. Do it! You have to! There's no other way. 
Uh, it's pretty easy if I... There. Why? I hit him in the head! Why did it cheat? It cheated and made her miss! I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. But that would just be too cruel. Unless the point is we have an option and I could have just shot in the air? What about him? Oh, never mind. He's fine. Okay. Weird. Why'd you do it? He told you. His employers told him to do it. Money. There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I don't really I'll care. You if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. What truth? Like... What? They just threw all this in randomly at the end. This doesn't make any sense. Is it just me? Or did that ending feel extremely rushed? It's like everything else about the game was kind of like dragged out. In, in a good way. You know, we're in the hospital and then... We're in the hospital a second time with Jill. And then suddenly... Jill. You all right? Final boss two times, and then a cutscene that beats Nikolai. Like... There it is. Oh, God. Oh, this was like... This was like the original cutscene at the end of the original. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. I... No, we'd be dead. 100%. If the explosion wouldn't have ripped us apart, the EMP from the bomb would have just destroyed us. I don't know why I'm having such... I'm just Mr. No today. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's finally over. Unless she's dead and dreaming right now. I'm sorry, I'm ruining it all this moment. So long, RC. Okay. What about all the people that were there now they I just don't care empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us all this death wasn't caused by a monster making virus yeah it was Agreed. no Agreed. no it, i'm pretty then and there the Sorry. ashes of raccoon city would be umbrella's ashes too i would end them once and for all Pretty sure it was the zombies that, like, ate and killed everyone to the point where they needed to have the nukes go down in the first place, Jill. But yeah, whatever you gotta say to justify yourself. Alright, I mean, <laughs> never mind. I guess this game was short. Most of all, because that ending was just like, like it's swelling up to a big epic ending and then suddenly fight with Nemesis in the weird sewer area. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. And, uh, you know, that was all fine. And then suddenly, just out of nowhere, BFG, bitch, the end. Like, what was that? <laughs> as far as I know in the original, guys, to be clear, normally Nemesis is still following you through the streets, and there's a lot more of the game that takes part in the streets. Um, normally, you end up going back to where those hive creatures were, and there was actually a gigantic weird worm boss that was cut from this version of the game, disappointingly enough. The original had it. It was creepy as hell. I was actually extremely scared when we would get to that moment in this game because the bug part was just so terrifying for me. Having a giant worm try to eat me would be even scarier. But it wasn't even in the game, unfortunately. But anyways, normally you fight that worm and then Nemesis kind of shows up as this weird slug thing where he's dragging himself and actually moving around instead of just a giant wall where he just stands there and you know. Um, and then you have to lure him into an electrical field and then activate, then you had to like stun him and activate it at the same time. And if you missed your window, uh, you would have to repeat that over and over until you ended up getting him. But, the best thing that is the takeaway from all of this is that they are making 
with this same new game engine, Resident Evil 4. I'm extremely excited about that because Resident Evil 4 gets extremely messed up and weird. So I'm excited to see how they're going to end up doing that with this engine and this version of the game. Especially because, like, that's the thing. Resident Evil 2 was very, very serious, and I loved the tone. It was consistent all the way through. Resident Evil 3, out of nowhere, we just had a gigantic, you know, BFG from Doom Eternal weapon thing, laser gun, okay, whatever. Weird. Otherwise, the rest of it was kind of realistic. And then Resident Evil 4 is kind of even more ridiculous, where there's, like, you're literally fighting ogres from Lord of the Rings and stuff. Oh, we can skip the ending. Ah, let's see if we get anything. Closing thoughts, you know, no complaints. That was a, that was a good game. Not as good as RE2. Wow, what a great ending. Okay. Oh, it took only five hours. Okay, that was a short game then. Never mind. I would... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> God damn it. I think our time for beating the game was actually okay. It was probably the amount of saves and the amount of deaths that I did that got me such a low ending. Or maybe I had to beat it faster. Obviously you get unlockables. Um, so you end up getting all these unlockables as you uh, beat the game. Uh, you know, better and better. And, you know, even in Resident Evil 2, you'd beat the game multiple times. And then by your fifth playthrough, you're going through with Leon with like a mini gun and a rocket launcher and infinite ammo and stuff. Um, but I never, you know, I don't really have much incentive to replay through these games. What? Okay, look at this. The shop has been unlocked. You can now purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used to unlock items can be earned by completing in-game challenges. View them in the record screen. All right, I mean, that's good for somebody that actually cares about uh, replay value, right? And it's just gonna be costumes. Oh, not just costumes. Recovery coin, gradually regenerate health when held. Carry two to increase the effect. Damn, that's like Resident Evil. So this, or not Resident, <laughs> this is Resident Evil. That's like Metal Gear, dude. That's pretty cool. So these increase your defense while they're held. Increase your attack power. Um, While held, increase the amount of ammo gained when crafting. Weird, dude. Close range combat. When held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. Okay. A uh, specialized tool which allows a skill for user locks when no oh locks when there's no key available no that's just the normal lock picks why are these items you can buy that doesn't make sense a hip pouch will not be available in assisted mode since assisted already has a max inventory so you would just have more huh oh we actually got quite a few points as well hot da dogger what as its name implies, this umbrella developed anti bioweapon knife is used by those who like to show off. The blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. I mean, you'd probably still die anyways trying to use it. Samurai Edge, a 15 shot capacity 9mm, been customized to Jill's personal specifications, excellent across the. Okay, so it probably has. This is probably the same equivalent of the maxed out pistol. Oh my god. Oh my god, an energy weapon uh, developed by Umbrella based on airborne electrical phenomena. It possesses great stopping power, but only when targeting enemy weak points. Weird. Then there's an infinite ammo pistol for 8,000. We're so close, dude. That would have been dope to use that. Yeah. Infinite mop handgun. Unless that's just what it's called and it's not infinite ammo. Oh no, it's probably infinite ammo. Short length. That's pretty cool, dude. We're very close to the pistol. That would be really cool. And then an infinite rocket launcher. Damn, dude. I mean, that's expensive as hell. But if I, if we were only a little bit closer, we'd only have to complete like a little bit more challenges, and then we could get an infinite round pistol, and that would uh, considerably make the game like cooler and funner. This knife seems kind of useless. I mean, the knife was just terrible in this freaking game. Wait a minute. There was more pages. Oh, never mind. It's just going up and down. All right. Well, anyways, I'm not going to bother with any of that. Still a cool game. Uh, definitely recommend it. But short as hell, 
Uh, the only reason I can strongly recommend this game is because I didn't pay full price for this. Most, like, with these Resident Evil games, fortunately, you can usually find them on sale long before the game has released. Uh, I think I found this game on sale on Green Man Gaming or something, and I, I was able to buy it for like 50 bucks. So normally games are like $80, um, and this game is not worth $80 at all. Like, that's, that's actually pathetic. Technically speaking, I'm pretty sure to, to give more value to the purchase, this game does come with a really janky uh, Resident Evil multiplayer thing, but it's not what you think it is. It's not like some really fun co-op. It's literally just one person spawns zombies uh, while three or four other players fight against them, and that's trying to complete an objective. It's one of those weird 1v3 type of modes, which I don't really care for in games. Anyways, let's wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. Look forward to seeing the Resident Evil 4 series whenever that comes out. I would hope that it takes a little longer to develop than this one because clearly they cut corners. Now that said, they did release this game in like a year from Resident Evil 2, so that is impressive, but it shows because of the lack of general content. That's what I think anyways. What do you guys think? If you have an opinion of it, you can leave it down in the comments, but otherwise I'll see you next time. Smash like sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel, and have a great day. Sign on, stay up, gamers.